Yo, what is up, YouTube? What's up with everybody? I'm about to get into this NBA 2K21 uh, gameplay news and just tell you everything that's happening because uh, there's a lot of news that they dropped and we just, we just better get into it. I'm about to read it for y'all. Y'all might know about some of this stuff already, but we just about to dive in. All right, so uh, again, I'm reading from GameSpot. It's just like a little summary. Um, it says NBA 2K21 big gameplay changes announced. Demo is coming soon. Uh, 2K announces a series of significant changes to how 2K21 will compare to previous games, and this is for current gen. By the way, keep that in mind. All right, so let's get it down to it. Um, regarding the current generation updates for 2K21, uh, they said this year in particular is going to make the game appeal to a wider a range of fans, players who want a hardcore simulation experience. Uh, while the game is also aiming to appeal newcomers. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to talk about that. I'm going to just keep reading this. I might talk about that after. All right, anyway, uh, one, let's say, uh, I, I will quote what Mike Wink said. He said, one day we set out to accomplish this was through building out a robust set of sliders and carefully mapping an appropriate sentence to all the very modes in the game. Yeah, bro, bullshit. Uh, anyway. It said a pro stick though. The pro stick is uh they always doing stuff with the pro stick. I remember the pro stick first came out. It was like 2K13 or 12 or some shit. I think 11 maybe. I don't know. I remember when the pro stick came out though. I remember that shit. It was hype about it. They still talk about it years later. Fucking decade later shit. Anyway, the pro stick has been updated to give more players control on offense. In past games, you could hold the pro stick in any direction and take a jump shot. That was limited us from utilizing the right stick as a fully featured dribble stick. So this year we're making a pretty significant change to how the pro stick works. Here's the new setup. Hold RS down is a jump shot. Hold RS left or right to escape dribble moves. Hold RS up, signature size up. Tap the RS, quick one-on-one -on -one dribble moves. And tap the RS with sprint help for quick momentum dribble moves. So you know, a couple changes there with the uh, with the pro stick that I know some of you dribblers will be taking advantage of. Um, new shooting mechanics. Uh, I, now I heard like I ain't gonna read this, but you can shoot with the joint and like you can choose your, your direction um, of where you're shooting. So let me read this real quick for y'all. So instead of trying to stop the shot meter when you reach the perfect release window, you adjust the pro stick in real life to hit the ideal center aim point wing said the target window resizes dynamically based on player ability shooting range and how well the shot is contested it can also shift to the left or right based on the shot based on the shot degree of difficulty if you miss the target too far to the left or right you were missing that direction that's fire that's fire i like that i like that i like that i like that um I was read this. As you're driving, you can still hold the pro stick in any direction to start a layup. But this year, you want to you want to uh, quickly swing the stick to move aiming to move the aiming tick to the center of the target. When said aiming layups will help overcome shot contest to help finish through contact. Um, if you can master shooting with the pro stick, you have a higher ceiling for getting greens and making tough shots. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a shot method of choice for many competitive 2K players. When said. But since I know some will X, yes, there's an option to disable shot aiming if you want to go back to last year's controls. Additionally, there will be more types for 2K21, including James Hart and Fadeaway. On defense, players can expect improvements in the form of block targeting that should make it easier to knock away shots. There will also be more options in the paint to stop offensive players from scoring easily. It's fire. You know what I mean? And really the block thing, because, you know, I feel like I should get a lot of blocks and I don't get them because it's the game, you know, your block rate and bullshit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's nice that, you know what I mean, they kind of like adjusted it better. Uh, this is the big one, which I'm excited about. I don't know about you guys. But NBA 2K21, my career, uh, they, uh, the developers have increased the height limit for point guards to 6'8". The change uh, directly from a request by 2K21's cover gen cover star Damian Lillard. I don't know why he wanted that shit because he's not even 6'3. Like, I can understand if it was Ben Simmons. He said, Yo, keep it, point guys taller, but yeah. 
anyway he says what he said <laughs> so i'm excited about that you know what i mean i know if you make that though you probably not gonna be able to shoot as good as you could if you were shorter so keep that in mind y'all but i don't care about shooting that's not my play style i'm gonna be honest on these niggas <laughs> i'll be honest anyway um all right let's see all right wang also confirmed that the badge system from nba 2k is coming back for this year's game i think you'll find that more badges will have more more mit, more it and fight for a spot in your badge loadout giving you more effective tools to take over games in a more varied fashion and here's some good news that i know the community will appreciate we removed quick draw and put release speed back into the jump shot creator so that's one thing you have to waste your precious badge points on and that's facts i hated that shit bro i'm i'm happy because that that, that took up your badge jones and it wasn't even fair like i so i'm happy that they took that bullshit away you know what i mean they listen sometimes and just to get in here uh just the next gen uh if you pick up 2k21 on current gen you'll have a great step forward but this game is also coming to ps5 um xbox where it's gonna cost 70 hours i heard yeah they changed the price to 70 they out of pocket they're the only company i heard they, i heard that did it so far everybody else still supposedly staying at 60 dollars but we'll see they're gonna change the game price to 70. wow anyway wayne said players i mean i don't care because i always buy the most expensive version anyway but fuck it anyway wayne said players can look forward to gameplays Details for all the goodies on PS5 and Xbox One in the coming months. What we do already know about the next gen version of 2K is that they will offer it drast drastically improved loading times and better graphics overall, but the full features for the new additions have not been confirmed as yet. 2K21 has very large shoes to fill as last year game sold an astonishing 14 million copies to come to become the highest selling entry in the franchise of all time. So I feel like 2K21 is going to be a good game. It's the last one on the um, on this gen. The next one is it's come out in September, and then the PS5 one come out in December, I think. So, you know what I mean? People not going to get that much time. People not going to get that much time. Um, you know what I'm saying? To like really play the game, so they might. I don't know. They might be on some dickhead shit with it and make it like extra. But I feel like they might. They might fall back and make it, you know, thrill because you know at the end of the day, it basically is the end of the game. You know what I'm saying? You you pretty much done playing. So maybe they will be thrilled. Maybe they won't be. We'll see in the time to come. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna highlight you guys in the next one. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about these new updates to 2K21. And I'm out. Peace. Gang.